I've never challenged the result of the referendum. In fact, I voted for Brexit in the referendum for the sole reason that I wanted power to be returned from Europe to the British Parliament. But I did not think it was right for the government then just to bypass Parliament and try to take away my legal rights at, at, without consulting Parliament first. In her speech to the Conservative Party conference, the Prime Minister attacked me for bringing these proceedings as a claimant. She said that I was trying to subvert democracy. That was an unwarranted and irresponsible attack. As is my constitutional right, I sought the protection of the court to stop unlawful government action. The court has now given me that protection. The result today is about all of us. It's not about me or my team. It's about our United Kingdom and all our futures. It's not about how anyone voted. Every one of us voted for the best country and the best future. This case was about process, not politics. The judgment, I hope, when it's read by the, by the government and they contemplate the full judgment, that they will make the wise decision of not appealing, but pressing forwards and having a proper debate in our sovereign parliament, a mother of all parliaments that we are so admired for around the world. Thank you. A British court on Thursday dealt a severe blow to Prime Minister Theresa May's plans to begin the process of exiting the European Union early next year, ruling she must get Parliament's approval before she acts. The decision greatly complicates May's stated plan to trigger Article 50 the never-before-used mechanism for a country to leave the European Union by the end of March at the latest. Most members of Parliament opposed Brexit in the lead-up to Britain's June referendum, when voters opted for an exit by a 52 to 48 margin. On the streets, however, the court decision risked setting off an angry backlash from voters who favoured leaving the European Union and believed the issue was settled. For more latest updates and news, log on to breakingnewstube.com.